So how do you make it? How do you overcome the odds? The thing that has worked for me is to remember the hard times. When I was 15, my dad was wrestling in Nashville, Tennessee. I moved with him, and when my mom finally arrived in Nashville, she had just driven all the way across country from California, and um, I knew that my parents were going through some, some really tough times in terms of their marriage, and it was, it was, that was a tough day. I'll never forget it. It was probably about one o'clock in the afternoon. We were at a restaurant, the three of us, and they, they got into it. They got into a very big fight. Not physical, but just really loud arguing. And um, my dad had a car at that time, and so they got into that car. My dad was driving, my mom was in the passenger seat, and I get in the car that my mom just drove, the family car. And I start driving it. I already had my license at that time at 15. And we're driving down I-65. I-65 is a major interstate that runs through Tennessee. And I'm watching them drive in front of me and their car starts swerving. And I can clearly see that they are arguing. My old man makes a hard right and he gets on the shoulder and uh, in the gravel road, my mom gets out of the car. And when she got out of the car, I'll never forget it, she had a glazed look over her eyes that I had never seen before. And she walks right into the middle of I-65 and continues to walk down into oncoming traffic. And my heart stopped. Horns were blowing and cars were swerving out of the way. 18 wheelers were swerving out of the way. And I got out of the car and I grabbed her. And wrestled her over to the uh, side of the road. I don't remember what I said to her. I remember she didn't say a thing. And in that moment, one of the greatest lessons I've ever learned was how precious life is and how in an instant it can all go away. Change me. So before a big movie comes out, before back in the days when I was wrestling with WWE, a WrestleMania match, anything big that would happen, I would always take a moment and I'd just remind myself, all right, I was evicted when I was 14. We were kicked off the island. We couldn't live in Hawaii. Had no place to live. Uh, a lot of shit happened then when I moved to Nashville. I was arrested multiple times by the time I was 16 years old. I gotta remember that. I would remember that, and it allows me then to be present in the moment and understand, holy shit, this, the stuff I have around me right now, this is the shit that I dreamed of when I was a kid. I am here. What helps me is to keep the hard times in the front of my mind because it allows me to go into these big moments that I've worked my ass off, and you guys have worked your ass off. It allows me to go into these big moments with a different perspective. What it also does for me, and again, this, just, this is what works for me. Like, <clears throat> I keep my back, excuse my language, my back is up against this motherfucker. Every day. It's against this fucking wall. Excuse my language. Ladies in the room. But it's up against this motherfucker because it's what I believe in. And when my back is against this motherfucker, then there's nowhere to go. But that way. That's it. 
So I feel like this could be something, an ideology and mindset that could help you, could, if you look at it that way. Because you made it already. We made it. We're successful boys and we're lucky boys to be where we're at. Well, you guys made it. Everybody's rich in the room. Nobody's gonna get evicted anymore. Anything you got, there's no more money problems, right? You got a lot of hands out now. Hey, can I get a little bit? Can I get a little bit? Right, that happens. <clears throat> but when you make it, uh, for me, I need this. I need this. So every day, my back is up against this motherfucker, and this is how I operate. Now, doesn't mean you don't smile, doesn't mean you don't laugh and joke, quote, right? You're happy, I'm happy, I'm a happy guy. But when it comes to business, and when it comes to executing, it's up against this. And I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. I feel like for me, it feels seamless because you prepared for so long, but it's just like you guys prepping for a game. That's the fun part. That's where it's like, fuck, it's fun, man. People are paying their hard earned dollars to come see you. They're cheering, they're going bananas, they're booing the shit out of you or on the road. It's, that's fun. That's what you live for. I mean, that's the juice right there. The prep is where the character's made. And I just don't mean the character I play, I mean the fucking, the character in here. So for me, the prep is getting with the director, getting with the producers, getting with the writers, getting with the, getting with, so in essence, it's like getting with all your coaches and your different uh, position coaches and, and all the meetings that you have to have, right? So that's the work you put in. The key for me was, where does it start? What's the anchor? What's the anchor? So I could have all these ambitions and you guys have all these ambitions, which is great. It's important. I'll play this role, you'll play that role. I'll execute this thing and it'll come out this summer. You guys will execute this thing during the summer, right, when it's time to really put in a lot more work. But the key with me is just always finding what the anchor is. And the fucking anchor is getting up at four o'clock in the morning every day before anybody else and grounding my thought process is in the no one will outwork me. No one. I love and I respect you guys. You motherfuckers won't outwork me. All starts with this. Two hands, putting it to work. The anchor for me has always been the work in terms of the weight room training. But eventually, and I promise you this, the one thing that will never, ever, ever go away is you get your ass in that weight room and you put in the work. That's gonna happen when you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That never goes away. You get on the court, you shoot some shots, but you still, you're gonna wind up right back in the weight room, right? Right back in your spot. Film has the, gives me the biggest opportunity to make the biggest impact, global impact. I don't want to make small movies. I love and respect our movie business, but I want to make big movies that do well. And when they do well, it's not the money thing, because we have money, right? Money's good. Money's good. It ebbs and flows. It's the idea that I can impact as many people as possible with a big global movie. And when the global movie is touching a billion dollars, that sounds good, right? It's good for the bank accounts, good for everybody involved. Everybody's getting their piece of cake. It's great. But what that does do, it, I know I'm impacting people around the world by giving them some good entertainment. The one thing I do want to leave you with is, as you guys know, there's nothing you can't accomplish. You're gonna go on, you're gonna become world champions. The key for me, what well, I think one of the keys is, remember where you came from, 
keep that shit in the front of your mind. And when shit goes bad and it goes sideways, a lot of shit does, you're getting booed out of the fucking building or you're coming through this injury or people are you writing you off. Oh, you guys ain't gonna fucking make it. You know, any of that shit. You gotta, you gotta keep it in here. You, and it really has to, it should drive you. It should, it works for me. It should drive you. You get all the talent in the world, it's all here. It's all here, everybody's the next best thing. Everybody's the thing, everybody's the best. It's all here. But God damn, I wanna do it better. I'd wanna do it better. I don't know how that is, because they even said to me, well, how do you do it better than him? This was in 2006, I said, I don't know. But I do believe there's a better way to do it and a different way to do it. Maybe it's through social media, connectivity, global, I don't know, let me understand the market, I, all that. And here I am.